Right, so we are looking at bearing. And bearing, as all the other things we've done goes, you have to identify your two points. So we've identified the two points, points A and B. So the next step you do is that you draw vertical and horizontal lines on those points. So this is the point. So we draw a vertical line. Make sure it is straight, as straight as can be. No slanted line or anything. You draw a straight line, just a cross. You draw a cross, but make sure the lines are straight. So one straight line here. And then another straight line here. Then you come and do the same thing for B. So one straight line here in the middle. Make sure they meet ex exactly on the point. So you see it's another straight line. And then you are done. So the next step is to draw a line from A to join B. So we draw a line to join B. Now we solve. So we connect. We've connected the two of them. After that, depending on the question, if you are asked to find the bearing of B from A, that means <coughs> if one is at A, what is the direction or what is the number of turns the person has to make in degrees to face B? So what we do is you get your protractor. You place always remember the zero is the not so this is zero then 90 180 and so on okay so zero as well as 360 so this is zero you make sure the zero on the protractor is on the zero so you place it on it nicely very good so it's a nice line exactly on it on the cross so you see the ups and downs is on the cross the this is also here so now we read from 0, 30, 40, 50, 80, 90, 100, 180, uh, 130. Then we can see from the line that we can see it's almost about 135. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's say 135. So that is the bearing from A to B is what? 135 degrees. And then you are done. As simple as that. In case you are asked to find the back bearing, see if you now we find the bar bearing of A to B or the bearing of B from A. Now, if you ask to find the back bearing, that will be from B to A. And that one is very simple. You just instead of measuring from here, you come and measure from here. But here we can see that when we place the zero here, it is impossible to what? Calculate up to this side. So what we do is that we note in our mind that this side, this is zero, this is 180. So we come to start from here. So already, we've already traversed 180 degrees. So let's put that 180 down. And then we come, we start here at zero. And then we move zero, zero, 10, 20, 30, uh, Eighteen, ninety, one, twenty. Okay. So this. So we can see it is what one thirty-two. Let's see one thirty-two. So what we do is that we add that one thirty-two to the one eighty that we already have here. You wrote one thirty. Hey, sorry, one thirty-two to the one eighty we already have here, giving us to one three. That means the, bear, the back bearing is what, 312 degrees, as simple as that.